Okay, live. Let me get this link up to people that want to watch it. <sighs> this is going to be a hodgepodge live show because I'm doing work. <laughs> Alrighty. Um, let's get this link. Let's do this link. Okay, that's tweeted out. Are any of you even in here right now? May have some? oh yeah, thirty-five. Okay, I should probably open. <laughs> The YouTube page myself because this won't show me the chat right now. So let me do this. And oh, mute myself. there we go. Okay. I won't do that horrible thing to you. Okay. Here we go. <sighs> Kathy, have a little faith in me. Okay. I think I'm going to switch back and forth because the YouTube page is like delayed. Oh, God. I, I just, is there a way to do chat anymore on here? There used to be. And I feel like I never see chat anymore. Uh uh. Uh uh. That's uh, not it. Okay. I hate YouTube. It's fine. Because on my end, I can't actually see the chat in the like live box. So I'll just see myself all delayed and stuff. Um, hey. Hi. <laughs> I wanted to get this done uh, earlier this week and then decided to paint the whole apartment. So... Yeah, this is like the last big thing to unpack and then I have just like miscellaneous crap here and there that I need like stuff for. So yeah, the good thing is, is I labeled everything. So like this box says books, contemporary, D&D &D manual, tarot, and a wand. So Harry Potter wand, obviously. I'm not an actual witch. So yeah, I kind of know what's in what, so I should be able to do this like fairly easily. I can pop out the chat someone said. I don't know what that means. Oh no. Um, anyway, I'll just, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna roll with it. I'm just gonna roll with it. Okay. I don't even know where to start. These are my shelves. That's the corner that I'm probably gonna film in, potentially. I don't really know. I have my ring light set up, but it's in the middle of my living room because my books are going in my living room now because I just have like one bedroom. There's no last, the last apartment I had like a den is, that's what I filmed in and had my books in. This time it's like in my space. Um. There's paint in my hair. I'm a little frantic still, so it's fine. This is gonna be fine. This is why I wanted emotional support. So it's it's gonna be good. You know, it's gonna be it's gonna be great. This box, I'm pretty sure, is like just miscellaneous books. So yeah, that's this month's the books that I read in October. And some envelopes. This isn't even a book box. Okay, it's cool. So this one is books. Favorites and fairy tale retellings. So I'm gonna start with this one because I generally know where things go. And I put them all together as much as possible. So should be good. Should be good. It's gonna be fine. I don't even know if you can hear me that well because again, I'm in like a bigger room. So is this my final move? Hopefully, I'll probably be here at least a year. I mean, like we will see so um but yeah hopefully i'll be here for, for a little while that was semi up in the air for a hot minute but i think i will be now that i've made some improvements and things so fingers crossed you know i deserve to just rest for a while and not be moving all the freaking time um yeah, let's do this here. I don't know if I packed these as well as I could have. But we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Just things had to get done, you know? They had to get done. 
did you guys all have a good weekend? I just spent my weekend doing packing stuff. Uh, well, not packing, unpacking at this point, but it just feels like I've been packing forever. So unpacking, thankfully, is faster than packing, which is nice. It's a nice feature. Um, so that makes my life a little bit easier. For some reason, I must have put these in like funky because they're coming out. I don't know. I feel like the last time I packed books, I did this a little bit better, and I was able to just like grab them and put them back on the shelf in like one stack. And I feel as though that's not the case this time which distresses me. What are your thoughts on Netflix, The Haunting of Hill House? Y'all, I don't watch scary stuff. Do you even know me? Uh, Haunting of Hill House. Like, I'm gonna watch that. <laughs> no, no. I have no thoughts because I'm, I'm not doing that. Like, earlier I was watching um, on YouTube, I follow a channel, it's called like The Shipper's Guide to the Galaxy. Is that what it is? Um, I haven't watched it recently because she's been doing a lot of ships that like I don't care about, but basically she talks about ships in like a uh, educational kind of way. Oh, this got damaged a bit. Um, anyway, so she kind of looks at both sides. It's almost like she has like video essays on ships. And she was doing one on people that ship like Slenderman stuff. And I was like, I was watching it and then I was like, you shouldn't watch this under normal circumstances, but you live alone now. So don't fucking watch this. Um, so I stopped. I stopped myself because that was that was me inadvertently being really stupid, um, and that would have resulted in me being very scared. And I just I didn't need I didn't need to do that to myself because I love myself. I don't need to do that to myself. Okay. So yeah, this shelf right here is my favorite shelf, one of them. And then this one is fairy tale retellings and such. That's also where like the Hades and Persephone retellings go. And as many of you have continued to ask, no, I do not have a list of good ones yet because I haven't had a chance to really read more since I did my original video. Um, and I, the ones that I have read, I still haven't been like, this is the quintessential Hades and Persephone retelling. So. Keep on waiting. It'll come eventually. Might be one of my goals for next year. It's some people, yeah, people ship Slenderman with themselves and with other monsters. It's like a this like monster thing. I don't know. I only watched a little bit and then I was like, don't do that to yourself. That would be very, very stupid. So I stopped because I am a smart, smart bean. Those were a bunch of Hades and Stephanie retellings, most of which I don't really like that much. They're all like three stars, so <sighs> whatever. I will find a perfect Hades and Persephone retelling eventually. Right now, the leader of the pack in retellings for Hades and Persephone is um, still a Cordemus and Fury, and that's not even really a Hades and Persephone retelling. Like, I want like an actual one to kind of go off of. So, yeah, that's, that's where I sit with that right now. Okay, see, one box down. This is gonna be great, it's gonna be great. All right. How come you're living alone? Because I want to. And because relationships don't always work out. <laughs> But uh, yeah, to just like address that now, Gerald and I have been broken up since like May. So yeah. Ugh. That's contemporary. That's not going to be a good one to do right now. I need the other fantasy box. This is apparently some of my makeup organizational things, not books. Ugh. Okay. Um. He, I know, the Hades Persephone webcomic, the, um, what's that called, Lore Olympus or whatever? I really want to read that. I have plans. Okay, so now, <laughs> yeah. So these are, these two boxes are TBR books. This is contemporary. So TBR shelf's going to be here, so I'm going to start working on that. It's just going to be hodgepodge, like, everywhere. So no sad faces about breakups, guys. Like, no, no, no sad faces. It's fine. Like, it's not, it's not sad, all right? We amicably broke up. 
we were sad that it had to happen, but not sad that it did happen. And like, we're both cool with it, you know? So don't be sad about breakups, <laughs> like, especially ones where like, I think you guys saw them like one video, like, so it's cool. I'm not, I'm not sad about it. You guys don't need to be sad for me because I've always wanted to live alone. I've always wanted to live alone. So mm, yay. Um, that was always a thing I wanted to do, and I've always lived with, like, I've lived on my own, but I've had like, roommates and stuff. Um, I feel like this is funny that I'm holding the screwdriver like this. But I've always had roommates or lived with, like, sipping others, and I always, like, said before I, like, settled down with a long-term partner, like a forever partner, that I would like to live by myself, because I think you learn a lot about yourself. And I think this is actually really good timing for that anyway. So I'm stoked about it. Like I get to set up books in my living room. I get to fill my living room. I get to have all of my own food in the fridge. I get to decorate how I want and not ask anybody else about it. These are like little petty things that I didn't mind doing when I was in a relationship, but the fact that I don't have to do them is just kind of like nice. So yeah, there are a lot of first ones I love, and I am happy about it because it's been one of my life goals that I thought I wasn't gonna get to achieve. Yeah, living on your own is the best. Um, the pet situation, I have Tally, the dog, uh, Binks, and Kit. Kit was the cat that I've had like from the get-go. Um, and one of uh, Amanda has Kai, who was one of the cats that she was watching when we were living in the other place. And she like probably loves him more than she loves anything in the world. So we just let her keep him um, because we're gonna get to see her anyway, or see him anyway. Um, or at least I will a lot. And then uh, Gerald gets Autumn. So, and Autumn was like always his cat, but yeah. So the, the pet situation is, is good and fine. And honestly, the whole thing, like there was rough patches, but the whole thing was like pretty decent overall, breakup wise. <laughs> we refer to it as an amicable dissolvement of a relationship because that's what you do when you're an adult. So, okay, this is yellow through purple TBR books. This is gonna be the bad way to do this. Oh God, okay. Um, ooh, ooh, this is white through yellow. I opened the wrong box. Um, I am currently reading My Plain Jane, which is by like three different authors. It's a Jane Eyre, like retelling sort of. Um, she can see ghosts. So it's a book that I was reading as part of my like spooky reads for last month, but with the move I didn't get to finish it before Halloween. Um, so it's one of the last Halloween books that I'm reading. It's the last one on my TBR for like the Halloween books, obviously. So it's really cute so far. I mean, like it's it's funny. I like it. Um, it's almost like a alternate history kind of vibe going on. So it's fun. It reminds me of the writing style of um, the Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue. If you guys like that um, and you want something with a little more like fantasy kick to it. That's kind of the vibe of the beginning from this one. So, sorry that that was super loud. Um, my gosh. Just making sure I'm still talking to you guys as much as possible. Yeah. Yeah, living alone's gonna be great. I'm really excited. And I'm, I moved to an area that I have wanted to live in for a while that actually has things for me to do. Um, and it's closer to my new job and everything. I mean, like, it's like 10 minutes away from my new job instead of an hour commute. So it's good. <sighs> so the top of this is, that's not where this is going to go. What are you doing? Um, the top of this is all the yellow books. So I got to kind of figure this out as I go. This is, this, yeah, this packing situation wasn't as good as it could have been, I feel. We'll see. These are all white. Thing with the rainbow TBR books is you just kind of have to put them up and then rearrange them as needed as you see like what goes where. Because I was just trying to fit these in. Um, as few boxes as possible. So certain books got packed in that weren't in the same color scheme and stuff. So 
That is why this isn't as quick and easy as past unpackings might have been. Can I finally color? I could technically, I think, color my hair um, again, but the cost effectiveness of coloring your hair as often as I did and the colors that I was coloring it isn't really super good. So right now, budget wise, I'm not gonna be dyeing my hair back. Um, I'm just leaving it like this because actually this haircut is enough maintenance for me. Um, and I'm, I'm just very low maintenance with my hair in general. So, um, I wouldn't really wanna, I think, dye it back to the crazy colors at this point in my life. It's just just too much right now. You know? Should should have taken a picture the way that the books were arranged before I on the TBR shelf, and I didn't. I mean, I could do it by color, obviously. Like that's what that, I mean. That's what I am doing. Like I can blatantly see how they need to be, but I think it's just going to take a little bit longer than it may have if I would have done that. But you live and you learn. You know, it's going to be fine. And each time I do this, like pack them and unpack them, I um, change them around a bit anyway. So. Um, eventually trying to get more shelves or you're trying to maintain the amount you have. Maintain. I do not want more shelves, honestly. Um, I want to keep the amount that I have possibly getting even less. <laughs> um, I will keep this amount of shelves, but obviously I want the books to be less. I might actually get extenders too. Um, since these are Ikea shelves, so that I have like one more shelf up here and that's sufficient. But the only reason I would do that is just for like the look of them. Um, because that way I can space books out a bit more and put like decorative stuff in it since this is a living room as well. So that's the only thing I might consider doing. But right now I have room. And, like I typically don't use the very bottom shelves um, because then I can't really see what's on them. So I typically don't do that. Um, and I could if I needed to. So. I don't have scissors either, or like a box cutter. I just have this. I've tried to get scissors a few times, but the um, Walmarts and Targets around and they have packs of like three, and it's like, I don't need three scissors. So. Favorite arc of the fall so far? I'm not really reading a lot of arcs, yo. I read a lot of backlists. Like, um, are there any arcs? I don't think I have. I don't think I've read any arcs recently. Because I'm not up on the times right now. I'm still trying to catch up on all the things I was missing um, when I was in school. And I've still been busy with commuting. Now is when I can finally get down to like reading business because I was so busy with commuting and like school before that that I really haven't had a ton of time to read. I've read more um, in the last like month and a half than I had before this, obviously, um, with school, but it's still not up to my usual reading pace. So now that I live much closer, to work, I am able to do that more, which is going to be a joy and a treasure. I'm unpacking my adult SFF favorites, which go up here, and then also my YA favorites tend to go behind me. Nice circus. That goes right there. So pretty. Okay. Um, yeah, so these are just kind of hodgepodge together. Mm. 
What do you study in grad school? I studied social work. So I now have a master's in social work and I'm working towards my license. Um, are you going to read more digitally then if you're not going to expand more shelves for newer books? No, um, I just don't, like I rotate out the books. So there's some books that I don't want to keep over time and I get rid of them and I don't bring in that many books. Um, statistically speaking, um, in comparison to a lot of other booktubers. So I'm not super worried about like running out of room. Um, I've never run out of room on my bookshelves since I've gotten this many. Um, and even I didn't need to buy this most recent bookshelf, which was like one I got a couple years ago. Um, but I just wanted more room. But I didn't technically need it. So, yeah. I'll just do unhauls and stuff like I do. Um, I mean, I'm not worried about it, honestly. It was all my UK Sanderson stuff. Um, about the Night Circus in late July because your recommendation, I've yet to read it though. Sarah Jane is reading it in November. You should read it along with her. It'll be a fun time. That's an agreement that we have. She's she's reading uh, it in November because she's been meaning to read it. And I basically challenged her when we were in um, Orlando to finally pick it up and read it. And she pretty much agreed. So it's happening. Okay, so that shelf is basically done. And this box is empty. See, I, I tend to know where things go. <laughs> Would you consider another KonMari unhaul? I'm probably not going to do a KonMari one. I recently did like an unhaul update, um, which you can watch. Um, but ever since I KonMari, I, I keep it up. So I don't bring in things that I'm really not interested in. And I've been pretty good about getting rid of things that I don't plan on rereading. Like that's what I most recently did. Um, so I don't feel the need to do like a full blown KonMari because. That's the whole point of KonMari, that you do it and then you don't have to do it over and over again. So people that are doing like multiple KonMari haul unhauls are like, you're not actually sticking with the like keeping things like minimal and not bringing things in that you don't need if you're having to do it all the time. It completely defeats the purpose. Have you read Carry On? I haven't. Um, it's one that I don't own, and I'm prioritizing books that I own on my physical TBR, especially in 2019. That was a goal for 2018, and I, I did do that, but I want to do it like hardcore in 2019. Um, so you'll see a lot more books of me talking about that. I just didn't have the time to really prioritize things in 2018 the way that I was hoping that I would. Yeah. I really take these. Which is good because they arrived safely. So now this is a lot of the newer books that I haven't officially sorted out on my TBR yet. So I'll be good. Um, have you read anything recently that really surprised you? Saw Kill Girls by Claire Legrand. It was fucking amazing. Um, and I wasn't sure how I was going to feel about it, but it's really good. I'm doing a review for it that's supposed to go up tomorrow, but I haven't filmed yet because I haven't unpacked my books. So if I have time to film after work tomorrow, you might see it. Otherwise, it might be like next week. Um, but yeah, it's it was super good. It's creepy. It's creepy. Uh, but in a good way. <laughs> I guess. Um, okay, this is more TBR. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So this is like the purple and stuff, which I think is going to go on this shelf. Yes. Purples and blues and stuff. Blue goes 
more up here. Have you read anything that disappointed you most? Um, not like, like most disappointing to read recently, but it wasn't something that I really hyped up in my head, so I wasn't like super disappointed, if that makes sense, was uh, Scarlet by AC Gowan, just because a lot of people when I first joined BookTube, um, a lot of bloggers specifically like loved that series. And so I had like semi-decent expectations. Like I knew that a lot had changed since like 2012 when that uh, series started, but I still was like, all right, like it can't have changed that much, right? Like, you're wrong. Um, there was issues, and I obviously did like a whole write about it, so I'm not gonna go into it right now, but. Um, what books have been in on your TBR the longest? Um, do you feel more or less motivated to read them as time goes on? I feel like two of them that like I know have been on my TBR a while are The River of No Return by B. Ridgeway and The Swan Gondola. Um, these are like more historical, um, I think one of them is like historical, but it has like a fantasy twist to it or like a almost magical realism. I think there's like time travel or something. And the other one is another like historical something. And it's just one that I like, I've been waiting to be in the right mood for them more than anything else. Um, I don't feel any more or less compelled to pick them up. Um, I just don't know when exactly I'm going to, um, but I still want to because I haven't gotten rid of them. Cause I would have. I do not understand how I packed these. Cause here's some greens. I don't know. Yeah, these are green. Okay, so green I feel like goes over here. Where do you find inspirations for your nail designs? Pinterest. I am always searching Pinterest and then usually adapting them a bit to be something that I want, but I find the inspiration there and then tell my nail dude. And he loves it. He's always like, what do you have for me today? So, good. that's gonna be up here. These need to go up here. Yep, they do. They do, they do, they do, they do, they do. Are you going to continue the Akatar series? I might. Um, I, I'm pretty sure I will. I haven't had any like major compulsions to read. What's the one that just came out? Like the, the filler book that just came out. Um, I'm like not in a huge hurry to read that, but I plan to read it. Um, it's just not something that's like highest of the high priorities at the moment. Uh, but I'll get to it. I definitely think I'll still read the series. Because I do, I, you know, I do have feelings about that series, even though I feel like it's gone. You know, like the third book wasn't spectacular, um, but it's still something that I think I will continue overall. Are you excited for the book to Best of F Awards 2019? And what do you think is going to be nominated? Um, I am excited, but I'm also nervous. The judges, all the judges, we were excited but nervous about uh, that because it's just a really big undertaking and it ends up taking up way more time than we think it's going to and it like dominates your reading, which is good when your things are nominated that are good, but is bad when things are nominated that you don't really want to read. Uh, and that's the problem we run into. So yeah, I'm cautiously optimistic about it. I do, it's something I really enjoy being a part of, um, but it's, it's just, it can be tough if the things that you're reading aren't 
very fun and you're sort of forced to read them. That doesn't really go. I also pretend that ECMF is a standalone. What's the Winter Night series? Is that the, the um, these guys? The Bear and the Nightingale? Is that Winter Night? I don't actually know what the Winter Night series is. Remind me. Um, I definitely plan on reading The Fate of the Tearling at some point, so. And I do think I'll read uh, The Last Hours when it does come out, so. Um. Okay. See, this is moving fairly quickly. I'm down to like six boxes. And I had like 12 or something. Yeah, Bear in the Nightingale. Yeah, I plan on, I plan on continuing to um, read that. So, gonna be fun. Um, I might have to move these down because I think I put other fantasy books right here. I think. I'm arranging this a little differently than it was in my old place, so. Yeah, let's open that box. That's a good box to open. Is there a book being recommended to you a lot that you're not interested in? Um, I don't think so, but if people keep asking me about Nevernight, I know I've talked about this before, I'm not gonna read it if when people keep bothering me about it. Out of, purely out of spite. Because I'm petty. No, because whenever people like continuously ask me to read a certain book, I'm just like, now I don't like, you're making it into a job. <laughs> like, stop. Like, I, I wanna read Nevernight, but like the fact that people keep asking me about it all the time, I'm just like, I know I'm going to love it. You guys know I'm going to love it. Just let me read it when I want to read it. I kind of want to read it this month. That's not making any promises, though, because the more that people talk about it, the more I'm like, stop. I completely hodgepodge these together. Is that what happened to Vicious? Basically, and I love Vicious, um, but yeah, people don't really bother me talking about Vicious, but Vicious is similar to Nevernight in that I know I'm probably gonna love it. So I'm kind of like, I don't feel like I need to read, like part of me is like, I don't feel like I need to read it because it's like, I know I'm gonna love it. Like I like reading books where I'm not really sure I'm gonna feel. And it's like, I know I'm gonna like it. It's about assassins and it's like, you know, like assassin, assassin school and stuff. So like, of course I'm gonna like it, you know? Um, so that's kind of, yeah, that's kind of where I sit with it a bit. This is a little bit shaky, which makes me a <laughs> smidgy nervous.
The sound of books falling over is like my nightmare. Um, have you read The Night Circus? Do you even know me? Oh my gosh, she'd be married to that book if it were a person. Honestly, so true. So true. Yeah, just watch like three of my videos and I probably mentioned it in at least like two of them. I'm not mad at you. It's just funny because it's like literally the book that I talk about all the time. Um, any unfinished series you're most excited to finish? The Falconer series? by Elizabeth May, I really want to finish. Um, but the third book isn't out in paperback in the cover that I have. So I haven't even gotten to the second book yet. Really hyped about that. Um, what else? What else? I feel like a lot of books are currently running that I'm excited to finish. I want to continue like the Mistborn second series. Um, that is exciting to me. I don't have a ton of unfinished series, I don't feel like. Oh, I want to continue with the um, the Expanse series, the SFS. Yeah, I feel like of the ongoing series, those are the the few that I'm still working on. Have you read The Phoenix Empress yet? I haven't read that yet. Um, so, yeah, don't feel bad that you didn't know stuff, it's fine. Like, I mean, I like tend to binge watch everything about a person when I first like um, start watching them. So I feel like I know everything about their lives and that's way more lame than you are. So don't worry about it. Um, Sorry, I just want to make sure I'm like not missing too many questions. I have not read, written, and read about it. I've heard mixed things about it. People like really loved it, and then people started really not liking it. So I don't know, man. Stop falling down. It's killing me. Oh, that's right. I have two favorite shelves. <laughs> okay. I was like, what goes there? I got a little confused for a second. I mean, I feel like a lot of the... Oh, Tally thinks she's a big scary duppy. Oh, you think you're big scary? I don't know what she's growling at. She's like mad at one of the cats for something. They're not near anything, Taos. Are they not allowed to like go near the box? You guys see how like sweet she is, but for some reason she's thinking she's like a big scary dog. You're not a big scary dog, Vicky. You're small. You're small and cute. Stay. I would show you to her, but it would require me to like finagle and she's like laying all cute. So, um, I didn't take a picture of my shelves before moving, which was dumb, but I generally speaking, like know where stuff goes. Like it's just a matter of finding spots for it, but I generally know, I generally know the things and where they go. So. And when I'm moving, it's a nice chance to finagle things around a bit. 
I have not found my perfect Hades and Persephone retelling. I was talking about that a little bit earlier. It's, it's still a work in progress. Oh, where? How do I do this? So one of these is a Harry Potter shelf. I might put Harry Potter on one of these, actually. Maybe. No, I think it has to go on the big one. Let's do a fish. I almost got rid of these before I moved, but then I thought, like, what if I do pick this series back up? I don't think that I will. That's funny. Someone just asked you if that about reading more Throne of Glass just for Man and in the 13. Yeah, kind like maybe now that it's done. I don't know, man. I don't I'm really like not interested. I don't, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know what I like did with this shelf. I feel like this shelf's bigger than the other shelves. So I'm not really sure. My shelves are from Ikea. They're like the Billy bookshelves from Ikea. Uh, I am confusion. Where do I stick my Harry Potter stuff? I think I stuck it here last time. But I just don't know if that's very efficient. All right, four boxes left. Um, I've, I've wanted to read Tamara Pierce before too, but I just haven't gotten around to her. Does your library have the Throne of Glass series? Maybe I'll do it through the library. Maybe. Maybe. Um. If you get tired of fantasy, what do you read? If I really need a fantasy break, I usually go for contemporary, but if I, I don't know. I think I usually just like end up switching to sci-fi, which is fantasy in space. So. I feel like I'm missing TBR box. Maybe I'm not. I feel as though I am. Yeah, I'll work it out. Okay. I put stickers on some of these, but I'm just putting them on my shelves anyway. I have not read The Exiled Queen, but I do own um, the first book in that series, and I've read it um, by Cinda Williams Chima, but um, I haven't. I have to make sure I'm sticking these out further so I can mark them. Um, I haven't continued with it though, because I wasn't like head over heels about it. The, um, what's that series called? I'm forgetting the name of it. Uh, So yeah, it's a series that I will eventually get back to, I'm sure. Have you kept up with your sticky tab, tab TBR system? Yes, it's kind of what I'm referring to right now. So I mark on a sticky tab um, on the books, like what month they came in so I can try to read them within six months. I haven't been really necessarily sticking to the trying to read them within six months thing because I haven't had the time to read period and that wouldn't be fair to myself. 
but I am sticking to marking them so that when I can get back on that bandwagon, um, I can do so successfully and really try to turn away at the books that I've had on my shelf the longest, because um, that is a goal of mine. Again, big. those are big ticket goals for uh, next year. And big TBR plans. What color are you? More so than anything. Okay. You can go down here, I feel. And you need to go up here. I feel like a kitty's crying somewhere. Longing for attention. I do have Cruel Beauty still. I, I kept it. I've already read it, but um, yeah, I kept it. I have not read Sparrow Hill Road by Shauna McGuire. The only Shauna McGuire stuff that I've read is um, the Wayward Children series. Borrowed books, so I keep them separate. That's right, and seven. I also uh, named my Wi Fi the Normandy. So, no big deal. I'm just like in the Normandy right now. It's fine. I feel like I'm missing a bunch of blue books. Is that wrong? Am I wrong? I don't actually know. Maybe I'm wrong. I just don't feel like these books were on this shelf. And I didn't get rid of like TBR books. Um, at my last unhaul. So I don't know what the predicament is right now. They're probably just packed into other um, boxes and I just don't realize it right now. As a hodgepodge. Have you read the Red Queen series? Like the Victoria Aveyard Red Queen series? I read the first book and then I didn't care and I stopped reading it. I thought about getting it from the library, um, like on audio or something. If I'm ever like bored, <laughs> but yes, N Seven Day is coming up. But are they gonna do anything for N Seven Day? Like, are we gonna get anything good? If they gave us a Dragon Age like teaser, that would be amazing. But they're not going to. They're gonna do something. like they're not gonna do anything Mass Effect related since they killed it with Andromeda. So we just have to wait for a while until people decide if it's a worthy endeavor anymore. I'm not really mad about it or anything. These are a lot of the books that I read last month. I'm not putting them back in the correct order, I don't think, but it's fine. I always stash my books I read this month a little separate from other things. So um, this needs to go on one of these shelves, but I'm out of room. Oops. Seeing this requires finagling. Spinning silver needs to go like on this shelf, so let's move this. See, it's just a, it's a delicate, it's a delicate art form. Put books on your shelf. Uh, 
Um, yeah, I'm definitely excited for King of Scars. I've, I'm not reading any like the excerpts or anything though, because like, y'all, I need like the full book. Like, I'm not gonna sit there and read like a chapter. No, I wanna binge read the entire thing in, in one sitting. So no, you're not gonna tempt me with this like half of a chapter thing. Like, no, absolutely not. Are there other books? Like, this is not, I do not feel this is the entire TBR. I feel like something, there's, there's books missing. Maybe there's not. There have to be. I'm, I am confused. I could go back and look at some of the old videos. I just don't feel like these books were on this shelf. That's what's throwing me off. Okay, I'm just gonna leave it for now. What's in this box? The video. Okay. I did that. I wouldn't get confused. Okay. That's comics. That's Harry Potter. I just need to go for it. So I'm gonna go for it and do it. Harry Potter shelf. Harry Potter shelf. And it's contemporary. I can go down here. This bad boy. Now I can like display this. It's gonna be great. I don't know where to stick that though for now. Over here. Let's just go over here. I will not do a bookshelf tour because bookshelf tours require so much time and energy that I do not personally have. So I do not know if I will ever ever again in my life film a bookshelf tour. I know people love them. I don't think I'll be filming them. I do plan on reading The Wicked King. That comes out like January, doesn't it? February, something like that. D&D &D manual. I stick. The Harry Potter shelf was like an all on its own. I feel like. So, do I like historical books here somewhere like separately? I do not know. All right. Apparently, the movers didn't put this shelf in correctly. Ugh. Rude. I'm gonna sell my books tumbling down to the floor. Guess I can move you so you can actually see what I'm doing. Okay. Um, do you prefer to be the player or the DM? I prefer to be the player, but I wanted to dabble in DMing. Because there's been a few times that I've encountered some like meh DMs. And I'm like, maybe I could do this. You know, it doesn't take perfection. Yeah, I am more a fan of unhauls than bookshelf tours as well. Apparently. 
recently I was mixing these in with contemporary books. Apparently Binksy like demands to say hi. So I think I'm gonna put classics on the same shelf. I didn't do before. Do you need something, sir? Um I could do saved in Instagram stories with each shelf. I think that'd be that'd be fine. He's been so needy. He's been so needy. Oh my goodness, you're such a needy boy. He um was hiding for like most of the first day, and he will intermittently hide still. Um, but he's been way better. Like the last time that he moved, um, he was more nervous, I feel like, for longer. And this time, he's been able to get it together fairly quickly, which has been nice, because I hate when he's, like, hiding. Yes, I know, I know. Um, I just hate when he's, like, hiding and he, like, won't eat. You know, cats just take a little while to adjust to things. So, I just feel bad. Oh, my God, dudes. Calm down. Calm down, buddy. I'm doing something right now. Also, Tally gets like super jealous if the cats get my lap. So he has to get his pets in when he can. Because otherwise she'll start like competing with him. And it's like, it's not the competition. All right, so that contemporary box is good. Yes, dude. Um, he is very cute. He's super cute. I love him so much. Um, best and worst book of the year? I don't know yet. I have like a favorite shelf on Goodreads that I'm populating with things, but I don't know what my best and worst would be quite yet. I do feel like there's other books that I'm not seeing. And yeah, that might not be true. That might not be true. Yes, my man. I, I see you. Okay. I need my screwdriver. Oh, it's a good idea to clean house while watching. Oh, no. This is not a new cat. Binks I've had since he was a kitten. Since he was a baby. And he was like, he, he was the one we got when he was like this big. He was so cute. He was so cute. Um, TBR for the year is, uh, I have a lot more books on my yearly TBR left than I thought I was going to. Um, just because of grad school. So this year I might not get through all of them. I, I'll, I'm pretty sure I won't get through all of them. Um, I'm really, I just am in the mood, like, since I haven't been able to read what I've wanted to for a while, like, I feel like I, I don't know, I feel like with grad school I just didn't have a lot of time to read, like, to mood read. Like, I was always trying to pick the best book to try to read because I needed to make good use of my time, if that makes sense. Um, so now I'm just picking up things where I'm like, I think this is kind of going to suck, but I want to read it, <laughs> you know, like, and that's a lot more fun. Um, so yeah, I kind of, I've been sticking to that instead of like my TBR, which, um, because a lot of those books are books that I feel I'm going to like love and are going to be really good. And I just don't want to place any pressure on myself or the books that I'm reading right now. So I haven't been super good about my yearly TBR, but I'm kind of, honestly, I'm kind of okay with that right now. Um, someone asked, yeah, will you be doing a 2018 couples list? Yes. Although I don't feel like, I think it's another year where I haven't had a ton of like grasping at my heartstrings ships. I think 2019 is going to be a good year for that. I really do. I think it's going to be, I think it's going to be a fun time. Sir, I am doing something. I am doing something, and I can't just stop and pet you. 
This is also a cat that likes to be vigorously pet, which is like so funny. Like, look, he's like loving it. Most cats get like really annoyed by this. He thinks it's like the best way to be pet. He's so funny. Oh, hello, little baby spider. You're so small. <sighs> if that was bigger, I wouldn't have done that. But he's very tiny. Um, so, um, excuse me. He's, ow, he's like tapping me. And then he like just did this with his claws. His claws are really sharp right now. I need to trim them. It's not his fault though. Mommy, mommy will do it. It's my bullet journal from last year. Um, so I will be doing a flip through of this at some point. Somebody asked me that just today. So I do plan on doing a flip through, um, which I think will be fun once I get everything situated. I couldn't vote for Goodreads because I don't read new books. I feel like I want to have a similar experience. Like I've been reading a lot of backlist, so I don't know. And I, the same thing happened last year. Like I couldn't really vote on anything because it's like I haven't, I haven't read a lot of these brand new things. Given you love fantasy and magic so much, are you into the esoteric in real life? I enjoy some like new age -y things. Like um, there's a store in Philly. Oh, what's it called? Amanda told me about it. Um, we don't have any kind of stores like that in, um, they didn't have any in, in my last town. Um, but it, it has like crystals and stuff and I wanna do that and I'll do like tarot. Um, but nothing extreme, like, well, not extreme. That's, that was an improper term to use. Um, I'm not like Wiccan or anything, but I do like some of that new age stuff. I mean, I feel like it goes, like one of my favorite podcasts is that So Retrograde. I don't know if you guys are familiar with it at all, but it's these two girls that have like really serious vocal fry, which I find, I find vocal fry as like um, a way of speaking, like, soothing for some reason i don't know like i know there's a lot to be said about that i could write like a whole essay about vocal fry anyway um but they talk about like astrology and crystals and they recently did a whole thing about human design and like all this stuff and i just find that stuff like really soothing and interesting i don't know what it is about it but i do really like it so i hope that answered your question as best as possible i have one box left um, what site do you use to buy the UK editions? I use Book Depository. And they ship basically internationally, I'm pretty sure. How did you feel about Strange and Dreamer? I have a review about Strange and Dreamer. I have not read uh, Muse of Nightmares, and I don't own Muse of Nightmares. So, um, yeah, I don't have any thoughts about that. Could you recommend some podcasts? I'm going to do a whole podcast, um, discussion recommendations video on my other channel I think probably around vlogmas honestly like I want to do it sooner than that but I'll probably do it around vlogmas um and as a little teaser to that my favorites probably my three favorites right now are that's so retrograde which is the one that's all about like the new age stuff um the um forever 35 forever 35 is my current favorite and has been my current favorite for like months um it's two friends who are like in their they're now in their late 30s maybe um but they talk about like self-care and it's like we're not experts we're just two friends that like to talk a lot about serums um but they have people on and they kind of talk like from all different like walks of life and they talk about like self-care and skincare and makeup and just like fun it's like a podcast for and like anybody, but there's something about it that I just really, really enjoy because it's a little bit more mature without being condescending, you know, about like life stuff. So I really like that one. Um, Dory and Kate are the two hosts on that. I'm obsessed with them. And then my third favorite is probably By the Book, which is two friends. Um, I think they're both comedians. At least one's a comedian. Kristen and Jolenta and this one's a little bit more of like a scripted one not quite scripted but like a little bit basically they live by a self-help book for two weeks and they 
record like their thoughts and um, they give you like the broken down principles of the book and if they found the book effective and all this stuff. Um, so there's a the part where they live by the book and then the next week's episode is like listener feedback and stuff and like it's just a really fun time um, and I really like it. So those are my three favorite podcasts right now. Um, yeah, there's some miscellaneous crap in a lot of these. So this is all of my these are arcs and comics. So arcs tend to go on this shelf. This is my small urban fantasy collection. Put up a comics up there. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Okay, so arcs are gonna go down here. Have you read the novelization of Battle Royale? I have not. Not really super interested in it, honestly. I know it's a classic. A couple of these got a little bit damaged, but that's why they're arcs. It's fine. It's fine. I'm not. Don't get too sensitive about it. I keep very few arcs. The whole arc collecting thing is just kind of bizarre to me. Um. This video should be on t tomorrow, um, if you guys want to watch it later. I plan on trying my best to keep it up. I don't, I don't think there's anything special, unless YouTube features don't let me. Tips on taking care of your books? Um, I mean, if you don't move, <laughs> they, they really shouldn't be damaged, honestly. Just keep them on your bookshelf, and they should be fine. Um, are you planning on doing an apartment tour? I'm not sure. Um, maybe I'm in the process of making it cute, but I think it might take a little while. Um, and yeah, I'm not sure. I think if anything, it might be on like Instagram stories. You guys are seeing snippets. I'm definitely going to show you the before and after of painting because this was, I just painted it white, but they had it like a really ugly yellowy white and it was really gross. So, um, yeah, I fixed that. <laughs> Because I couldn't allow that to happen. It was honestly offensive. Okay. Now we gotta go back up because I'm putting the comics on the shelf. Favorite Stephen King book? I've never read Stephen King because I don't read scary things. I know not all of his books are scary, but like, it's just, I really respect him as an author. He's just not an author that like really appeals to me. I really like the movies that they make out of his books for the most part though. Um, like Green Mile and Shawshank Redemption and stuff like that. I hope that wasn't a damaging fall. Okay, good. It wasn't. I really gotta get back into the wicked and the divine. I'm like three. I think I have two that I haven't even read yet. Um, but I feel like I'm like three behind, which sucks. I got rid of a few comics before moving as well, so I have a little bit more room on the comic shelf, which is nice. All right. 
And I guess that was the end of the TBR. I guess I'm doing pretty good. Um, I'm totally on board for Christmas. It is nearly time. I was talking to my, my blah, 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 blah. I was talking to one of my best friends yesterday, and she was setting up all of her Christmas decorations because her family usually sets up everything like the day after Halloween, which is so funny. I'm like, I cannot abide that, <laughs> but more power to you, my dear friend. Okay. So yeah, now I gotta like configure this TBR shelf. Was it really only like three shelves? I guess it was. My mom made me put up the tree today. I thankfully still have like, I have all of the Christmas decorations. Um, so it's really just getting, I need a tree. I need, I'm gonna get a really um, narrow tree. I don't like rushing the Christmas season either. I plan on um, enjoying Thanksgiving because Thanksgiving is bomb. I think I'm going over to a friend's house for Thanksgiving this year, so. My cats are okay with the Christmas tree only because I have bought what's called a scat cat. Um, and they're little aerosol spray things that are, have motion centered on them. They're not that expensive. You can get them on Amazon. And um, whenever they go close, it like makes a noise that almost sounds like hissing at them. And it terrifies them. So they don't go near it. And they keep, they leave the tree alone, which is beautiful and wonderful. Because otherwise they'd be climbing in it. And you can't have that. I'm just configuring the last little bits now. So this didn't take actually as long as I thought it was going to. I knew once I got going that it would be fine. Just a matter of getting going. <laughs> that can be the problem sometimes. What do you think about Taylor Swift? I like her just fine. Um, I'm not like a huge Taylor Swift like fangirl by any means. Um, but she's okay. I like her music for the most part. I haven't really listened to the new album that much, but I like it. Like a couple songs on there. I do. I do feel like my TBR is smaller than I than. Well, I guess I read a lot of books uh, last month. See, this is like, I've gotten so used to my TBR being so big. Like, <sighs> okay. So I have this one brown book, it's new. I don't really know where to stick it in the shelf because where does brown go? Before black? I don't really want to put it before black. I might just stick it on the end. <laughs> All right, is that it? That might be it. Good for me for getting a lot of books off because I feel like this whole bottom shelf used to be um, yeah, used to be TBR books. All right, let me show you because it's a little wonky. And I feel like let me get, go back so I can see what I'm actually showing you. Okay, so here's the TBR shelf, and I used to think it would go like way farther down, but no, it doesn't, so that's nice. Um, here's this like small shelf, which I really haven't, oops, sorry, really haven't figured out how to best do all of this, because as you go further down, sorry, this is really awkward to do with a laptop. 
yeah, there's some empty spaces there, which will be good just for like general decorating. Um, hope you can see because I'm standing behind the computer. So um, that's these shelves, classics and stuff down there. And then I'm gonna fill in this a little bit. That's why I feel like, hmm, I feel like there are books missing because this shelf was like full. Well, no, because that's why, yeah, because I, I didn't have books all the way down there before. So some of these on the second shelf were living up here, I think. I'm confused. I should have planned this more appropriately. Um, is there really no other books? I guess I did just get rid of some books though too. Don't mind the like mess back there again. I'm still in the process of like putting stuff away. This new apartment needs more like organizational things, but I resent buying things to organize a space that I'm renting. So it's a conflict. It's an inner inner conflict that I'm having. Okay, so let's do I don't know what to do with this. Should I take a photo and put it on Instagram of my last shelf? I think that I did. Ooh. Yeah, I did. But these are... It's not a full photo. And I've gotten rid of a lot of these. I got rid of like 40 books in my... Um, yeah, I got rid of like 40 books on my on my already read like shelves, which are these. So maybe that's why I'm feeling like they're sparse because I have more room for them. Okay, so now what am I going to move up? Move up these. So I do still consider the books that are directly behind me when I film like my favorites. So I don't want to put stuff up there that I don't consider like top notch, you know what I mean? I just reached for like the Akatar series, but I don't consider those like necessarily the top. Ooh, I like the Hazelwood. Let's do that. Um, and then up here is where I put a lot of like the adult stuff. But I must have, what did I do with things up there? How many boxes of books did I have? Twelve. Um, a lot of people like the like the tapping sound because it's like a ASMR type thing. Um, hmm. I just don't want to give this coveted spot to things that I don't consider like amazing. <laughs> I guess I could not stack my Brandon Sanderson in the way that I'm stacking it. So here's what I'm thinking. I have Brandon Sanderson stacked like this right now. I could change it and have it stacked normally and that way it would fill in more of this because right now, apparently, I don't have um, as many adult fantasies as I thought I did. I I honestly do feel like I'm missing books. But I like there's nothing that I'm thinking of that I'm missing. And there are like spots in my shelf from these photos from before. So maybe I'm just being a little weird. I don't know. Trying to go through. I just don't take photos of my bookshelves. Like it's just not something that I tend to do. So I would almost have to go through old videos and figure it out. Um. Let's see. This. I'm just confused, man. 
And a lot of the books on my, what I read this month are gonna have to go on here too. So maybe I shouldn't fill things too much and just kind of leave it as is for now. Hmm. Ah, that's true. Yeah, I used to do that a lot, um, turn book covers out to have the, the front featured. Yeah, I used to do that a lot. Why did I think of that? You're a genius. Um, yeah, let's do that for right now. Because I got rid of so many books, so now I have room. It's a good feeling. I like it. Oh, yeah, I like when this happens. It makes everything look really cute. Okay. Um, what do I want on that one? Maybe this book. I like this. I forgot that I liked this. This is why I like getting rid of books because I like featuring. Yeah, it's been a long time. This is like old. Like, yeah, it's not that the bookshelves have to be full. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about like the actual shelf. Like if there's huge gaps, like it, it's weird. So um, yeah, I don't like the way that that looks particularly. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is good. This is going well, okay. Move this down. Let's move these two over. Do you prefer hardcovers? Um, I don't really have a preference either way. I have a mix of both. So. I like uh, paperbacks because they're a little bit cheaper. So that's always a perk. Join me down here. Um, okay, so I can move my contemporary up, which I think it was up here before. Um, and I can put some stuff, move some stuff around a bit. It is weird putting the contemporary like right next to the like remainder of the fantasy, but oh well. Are you going to read the last Nine Fox Gambit book? Um, probably because it'll probably be nominated for a book two best of ever. But it's not a series that I'm particularly attached to. Um, I probably wouldn't read it if it wasn't nominated. I could maybe read on an audio, but it w wouldn't be something that I would be like super, I'm just not super invested in it. Ah, I need room for like one more on this one show. <laughs> Why? <laughs> it was perfect. Which again, I'm going to have to put those books on the shelf, so I shouldn't be too caught up in this right now. There. All right. I think um, I am originally from the Midwest. I'm from Illinois. I currently live in Delaware. Okay. Um, should I set up some miscellaneous books on that shelf? 
I might. Might, I might. Okay. I think I'm good. I think I'm good. It was a D&D book. It was the it was the player's handbook. Um Okay. This is really everything. I I got rid of a lot of stuff. I can definitely tell because of the way I'm like there's I got rid of a whole arc shelf. Um I got rid of some stuff. Um all of the urban fantasies that I have from my last um that last unhaul. Um so, yeah. I do miss Illinois at times. I would like to move back to the Chicago area. That's where I'm from. Like, the, I'm from, like, about an hour and a half outside Chicago. And I wouldn't mind moving back to, like, a suburb of Chicago, but it's expensive. Um, so I'm kind of doing some stuff here. I wouldn't, I can see myself moving back there at some point, um, depending on where life takes me. But I don't like to make plans because I found over the years that plans, like, never tend to work out. You learn that as you get older. Um, so I'm doing like some career stuff here, kind of building my um, experience and like getting licensed and stuff. And then I can see myself um, heading out that direction. So I only have a select few Funko Pops. I've actually got rid of a lot of Funko Pops and I wouldn't mind getting rid of more because I think they clutter up my shelves a bit. Um, so yeah. So now you can kind of see that behind me that I just changed. So yeah, I'm happy. I'm pleased with this, um, and as I read more, the shelves will get full up again, um, which I'm excited about. So, yeah. Um, weird question, what kind of music do you listen to? Uh, alternative rock, mostly. <laughs> um, so, yeah, that, that's me. But I'm gonna go, because I need to clean up all these boxes. Let me just show you. Like, don't judge the apartment right now. Like, there's, there's stuff, there's a few things. Really, the boxes are what make it look so bad. Before, it wasn't that bad. But like all of these boxes, <laughs> yay! Um, so yeah, I'm gonna make sure I'm in, in the frame while I'm talking to you. Yeah, so I have to finish painting the bathroom, which is just I just need to roller it a bit. Um, and I'm finished with this. So thank you for joining me because I would have not wanted to do this by myself, basically. Um, and I'm happy with these, and I'm happy to film in front of them and get my filming setup all worked out. So hopefully this week I'll have that done and some videos up um in the new space um so yeah thank you for joining me um feel free to continue talking to me in the comments and stuff of this video and on like instagram and stuff like that and yeah i'm excited for this new space i'm excited for this new setup and yeah for this just to be what my shelves look like and i'm excited to put like decorative stuff i think i might rearrange them again at some point which i'll post on instagram if i do and like put more display stuff on them potentially which i've never had the opportunity to do before because i always had them like in an office or something they were more like a workspace now that they're more of a work hobby functional space i feel like this would be a fun time so yeah thank you guys for joining me i'm really happy to be here <laughs> um and getting everything worked out here at the apartment and if you want to see stuff about the apartment like i said i'll probably post it mostly on instagram and stuff less here just because i've never really posted home stuff on this channel uh, maybe on my other channel, maybe for Vlogmas. Anyway, I need to go because I have to get up like early. I still haven't eaten dinner and it's like 7.15 here. So I got to do that. Thank you for joining me. I really appreciate it because otherwise I would have been like bored out of my mind. Um, so thanks. Thanks so much. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.